Okay, uh, quick video. Um, fired my Pro Sport at the range on Saturday and stupidly fired it dry, i.e. with no pellet in it. Heard a massive twang. Um, immediately knew what I'd done. I'd fired it without a pellet. Um, fired a few more times and it definitely sounded different and the point of impact had changed. So I'm going to possibly be taking this apart, um, which is a new adventure for me because I've never taken any gun apart. But apparently Pro Sports and TXs are pretty easy. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is put it through the chrono um, to see if the power's dropped because um, I'm thinking maybe the spring has snapped or something like that. I mean, hopefully it's nothing serious, but I'm going to have a little look, see what's what. Okay, so I've put 10 shots through the chrono, and it's definitely down on power. It was, this gun usually shoots between 10 and 10 and a half foot pounds. I don't really chase power with my guns. I like to have them slightly lower, because I think it gives a smoother shot cycle. So I've put 10 shots through this, so hopefully you can see the chronograph on the screen. Number of shots, 10. Uh, average energy is 9, so it's down between 1 and 1 and a half foot pounds. Uh, average speed 696, minimum speed 683, maximum speed 710, so that's a spread of 27 feet per second. Um, standard deviation is still actually not that bad, um, under 9. Um, I think generally anything under 10 is considered pretty good. So the consistency actually is still there, although it seems to have dropped power. Um, there we go. So, right, it's definitely dropped power, so the next thing to do is to take it apart, I suppose, and see what's what. Gulp. Okay, so I have taken the stock off of my Pro Sports, and I have disconnected the cocking arm, and the next thing to do is to undo this nut to get the trigger block out. Um, I'm leaving the scope on, so I'm gonna rest the end of the gun here on the on the edge of my uh, worktop and put a bit of pressure on it and then undo that nut. And then hopefully we can get all the innards out. Let's see how it goes. Okay, success, I've got the gun apart. And it doesn't look like there's too much in the way of damage. Um, let's just have a little look at this. So the compression tube doesn't look damaged. I'll probably change the breech, breech seals while I've got it apart. Although they actually don't look too bad. Um, obviously I'll need to clean these up and re-grease them. The Dell ring the Dell ring washer that's on there seems to be okay. It's all nice and clean inside. I can't see lots of scratches or anything. The cylinder itself looks Good condition, no scratches, no dents, it's not bent. The Del Ring, uh, I think these are called Del Ring guides, are they? So they guide it inside the cylinder up and down. That looks okay, no splits, no digs. Uh, I presume that's not a split. Is that a split? Is that meant to be like that? No, because that's got one as well, so I presume they're sort of a bit like circlips. Um, the end here looks okay, doesn't look like it's damaged, split, got any bits out of it. Okay, I'll be giving these good clean. Um, the spring looks okay, it's not, it's not damaged, it's not bent. Um, Top hat's still in. The top hat's not damaged, split, cracked. 
the guide is not split, not cracked, not damaged. So I'm thinking I might have got away with it. Although it does seem to be a little bit low on power. Whoop. And getting it apart was so easy. So the four screws on the stock. So you have a hex bolt there and a hex bolt there. And then two on the other side. So there's four. Then when you take the trigger guard off, there's two bolts there. So basically six bolts gets the stock off the action. Um, then as I said, you undo the bolt there to release the, the cocking arm. And then you undo the bolt there to get the, the trigger block out. Um, I think I may have got away with this. It all looks okay to me. Um, if it's a bit down on power, I might stick a power. I think I've still got... When I had it originally fettled, I think I had a couple of power washers, so I might stick one of those in. Uh, but yeah, looking good so far. Okay, another little update. Um, I've cleaned everything, cleaned all the old grease off, and I'm ready to put the gun back together again. Um, I also lubed some of the moving parts, so... These, these little pivots here, there's a little pivot there on the cocking shoe, the pivot here. I've just lubed them up with a bit of gun oil. Um, but I've just realised I haven't got any bloody moly um, grease to smear over these to put them back together again. So I just thought I'm going to have to shoot out to the nearest gun shop, uh, which there isn't one near to me. I'm in sort of, in between Sittingbourne and Faversham, there's a there's Kent Gunsmith at Faversham, but he's normally closed. I think he only opens about two days a week. So I might have to go to Country Ways at West Smallin or Crawley Surplus. Either way, it's an hour's drive there and an hour's drive back. But uh, I can't really put the gun back together until I get a little bit of grease. So next job is to shoot out for a couple of hours. Be back later when it's all put back together. OK, managed to get some... Uh Bisley moly grease and I've managed to grease up all the relevant bits and put all the bits back together and now I've just got to get the stock back on. Okay the gun is all back together now and I've just put uh, 25 shots through the chronograph. I don't know if you can see that. Um, the power's gone up a little bit. That's yeah, actually gone up to 10 on the last few shots but the average is just under 9.4 now um, the spread between the fastest and showest was 100 feet per second and it's now on 23 uh, it was under 10 so it's now on 23 but presumably it's going to take a bit of time to bed in um, so yeah I'll keep an eye on it um, but as I say the last few shots were, were creeping up to over 10 um, so presumably as it, as it beds in it will get slightly better um, I might take a few shots at a target uh, I've only got 21 meters in the garden but I'll take a few shots and see what the accuracy is like okay quick update I've uh, put me pro sport back together and it all went together okay um, I was hesitant about taking the gun apart I've never taken the gun apart before so what I would say is anyone that's a bit wary, um, certainly if it's a Pro Sport and a TX, it was really easy. Didn't have any problems taking it apart, didn't have any problems putting it back together again. Relatively easy and straightforward. Um, I took a few shots just down the range. First group was a bit all over the shop. Second group was about five pellets there, which are just slightly bigger than a one P piece. And the third group, I did manage to get under, pretty much under a 1p piece, I haven't got a 5p piece, so that's the next best thing. Uh, this one's just slightly, just slightly larger than a 1p piece. Um, but yeah, you know, it's not perfect, and I would normally expect to shoot better than that. 
Um, but it's just been taken apart and put back together again, re-greased, so presumably it will bed in a little bit. Um, and the power was going up when I chronoed it, it started off at below 9, it was 8.7 and it started at low 9s, mid 9s, high 9s and then at the end of the 25 shot chrono string it was getting over 10 so I would imagine it probably creep up a bit more so I'm expecting it to be around 10.5 after a couple of hundred shots so I'll take it out for a run out next week and see how it goes but I don't seem to be getting the twang that I was getting before so maybe... You know, I don't know what happened when I dry fired it. Something definitely um, affected it. Um, and of those shots today, I haven't adjusted the scope at all. I mean, it was shooting uh, about four inches low from point of aim. Point of impact was about four inches below on Saturday. Um, I've taken it apart, put it all back together, and that's I was pretty much aiming just slightly to the right of these. So it's about half an inch, um, shooting about half an inch to the left without me adjusting the scope at all. I mean, I checked the scope, made sure it wasn't loose or anything. So basically I've, I've stripped the gun, put it back together, couldn't find anything wrong with it. So hopefully I've got away with it and hopefully the power will creep up a little bit over the next couple of hundred shots. Um, but the takeaway from this video is if you're thinking about taking your gun apart and you're a bit wary like I was, just give it a go. What's the worst that could happen? Cheers, bye.